Now to no credit, no problem. So everyone needs it, but for many, by the time they've learned the importance of good credit, it may already be too late. Yeah, News for Jack's consumer investigator Lauren Verno breaks down the important rules for repairing your credit, revealing the one document that could help boost your score for free. What would make the president of a credit union say this to a person with bad credit? Let's do this loan. We'll get there in just a second, but first you have to understand why you need good credit. If you want a credit card, you'll need it. And you'll need it to buy a car. <laughs> want to buy a house? Can't get that with bad credit. Mary Zvoboda, interim president and CEO of Jack's Federal Credit Union, says once your credit goes bad, <laughs> it's going to take some time to bring it back up. If you've had late payments, it would take almost 24 months of on-time payments to really rectify that situation. Two years can seem like a long time, but before you get enticed by a company that promises better credit fast, beware. Going out and using a credit repair agency or something like that that could co cost you several hundred dollars, those are all things you can do yourself. Zoboda so says those quick fix businesses are just checking your credit report for any discrepancies and then disputing them, which you can do for free. Check your credit report if there's anything on there that isn't right. It's very easy to dispute it directly with the lender or through the online process at uh, the credit bureaus. So you don't need to pay for that. And because of COVID-19, you can actually check your credit score for free without a penalty through the three major credit bureaus, Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion. Before COVID-19, you could only do this three times a year. Zoboda does recommend one boosting service. Experian in them just created Boost. Mm -hmm. You would link, the credit report would get linked up to your bank account, and through your bank account, they could see that you have regular deposits and that you pay your utility bills and your mobile phone bill and things like that on time. Even if you have debt, that's okay. You just need to make sure you are paying at least the minimum due on time every month. What is the most common pitfalls of credit cards that you see people with people? And how do you avoid it? Yeah, sometimes getting too many, right? So the idea is, um, and sometimes it's, it's horrible. We see people who have 20 or 30 uh, credit, credit cards. So this is not a good idea. So what do you do if you are taking all these steps to fix your credit, but can't wait and need a loan now? What I would encourage someone to do is if you really don't have any credit, Bring me your bank statements and show me, look at this. I have made a $600 rent payment on time by the first of the month for a year. I'll say, let's do this loan. And while you're building that credit score back up, Svoboda says, care about it, make it important and check it. Because a bad credit score doesn't have to be a life sentence. Lauren Verno, Channel 4, the local station. So if you have trouble getting a credit card because of your credit, you can start at a credit bureau and ask for a secured credit card. Basically works the same as a debit card because you give the money up front. It also counts toward building your credit score. Yeah, and tomorrow morning on the morning show, 715, Lauren is going to show you how to turn no credit into no problem. So what parents could be doing right now to establish credit for their kids and when Svoboda recommends getting them that first credit card. And then at 9 a.m., your credit questions will be answered live with Jack's Federal Credit Union. You can submit a, cre a credit question right now. Just go to newsforjax.com, then look inside this story. You'll find it on our homepage.